it's me welcome to my channel so I thought you have brought out another another firmware it's the fifth firmware out and it's called version 1.1.3 and it was actually released 25th of the first uh, but we've got it now so let's download it so all you do is hit the download here you'll get the usual zip file now I just go to Rufus and download Rufus it's just quicker if they haven't included it in the download so Rufus opens up very quickly you just click that and you have this little square this is the tool that we that we use oh, I was already running there so I'll open that up for you Rufus that's the program we use to put it on so all you do now is go to um, the extraction when it completes and you'll look at the file and I've already got the file here so let's find the file I put I would when, when it does complete send it somewhere you're gonna find it so I call it Zygu 6 for some reason I double click and then the, the file you want you got the release notes here and the file we want is actually this time called SD card It's not normally called that but anyway so it's um, correct the problem with the wrong frequency division of six meters modified and then the condition of low battery shutdown are modified to battery 10% and voltage lower than 7.3 to is there any more there to prevent lower shutdown by mistake the base version number fixed the problem that the RTS signal of the CIV cat port could not control the CW transmission and there's more tips here and the other thing they're also saying is um, it makes sense if you've never done this before a firmware update to uh, dis fully charge and fully discharge the battery four times for it to work properly so take that advice good so we've got the file here so once you've got the file then you would extract it to a place where you can find it just hit the extract here so when you've done that open up Rufus that we just talked about and then select the image like so go to where you found it or put it so I put it in Zygu 6 there you go and then you would just double click and you would select SD card and then um, it would start once you've selected it oh you need your SD card in because my SD card isn't in at the moment um, but if it is in it will be selected and just click start and then this would fill with with green all the way to the top and don't use it until it says ready so now with your Zygo on the screen let me see if I can just put that into a, a bigger screen for you we get the SD card put it in the radio you want the SD card sort of facing that way and radio off push it in hold down the on button for about four seconds and it will start the whole process of loading the firmware there you go it doesn't really take long once it's done that, now remember you do need your external power supply or it's not going to work. So, going through. I'll leave it live. I don't want to touch the buttons on my laptop when this is happening. Not really sure why though. <laughs> um, there it goes. Fast forward. Anyway, it's gone off. As soon as it goes off, you can now make remove the SD card. Hold down the on button for a good three seconds. And then when it when it has rebooted, it does take a couple of minutes. You do need to up do a final upgrade to it on the radio. Once it comes on. There you go, so just go it's on now, just go to System settings, go to firmware upgrade, select the MFK button, and then click, uh, look at the number here, 25001 at the end there, click upgrade, and it should run that. I've had it have an error on this before, and I just rebooted it and did it again. But you can see it's done it. And that's it, and you hit quit done now 100% done then you're back to the normal menu I don't think you're going to notice any any visual differences to this at all so thanks a lot maybe a reboot now wouldn't hurt so 73 thanks for watching my channel please like and subscribe all the best